I'm Christina Mondragon, your Lafayette Parish reporter. January is known nationally as Human Trafficking Awareness and Prevention Month. It's a nationwide epidemic. According to the U.S. Department of Justice, human trafficking increased by 49% between 2011 and 2021. But what about the data right here in Acadiana? I sat down with Courtney Henderson, Human Trafficking Coordinator for Hearts of Hope, a sexual trauma center in the city, and asked her how offenders pick out a potential victim. Potential offender, offenders will go ahead and they'll meet that individual or meet that child online or that victim online and build a relationship with them. So be extremely cautious when doing that. Um, just pay attention to your surroundings when out and about and be, be cautious at night sometimes. Um, just to kind of make sure that, you know, you understand and you see everything that's going on around you. And the victims most targeted? So with our Lafayette region, it, it's a lot of teenagers that we are seeing that it is happening to. Um, we do see more females than males that are being reported. It is an issue. Um, for 2023, we had a total of 10 cases that we, Lafayette Police Department, investigated. And out of those 10 cases, six arrests have been made. And the cases where arrests weren't able to be made, they were forwarded to the district attorney's office. And over at the Lafayette Police Department, Sergeant Robin Green tells me they also try to go after the most vulnerable. A lot of times people think human trafficking is based on poverty, a person's uh, living situation. It goes a little more into detail because sometimes you have juveniles that live in a dysfunctional or dis uh, a disrupted household. Human trafficking not only affecting the victim, but the whole family dynamic. So it does have an impact on the family as a whole. Um, sometimes I know a lot of the parents don't realize some of the things that are going on. So it's kind of a shock to them when they are told, you know, hey, this is what's going on. This is kind of what's been happening. Um, most parents want to say, okay, what can we do to help my child? If you or someone you know are victims of human trafficking, both the Lafayette Police Department and Hearts of Hope tell me that help and hope is available. Resources will be posted over at KTC.com. Reporting in Lafayette Parish, Christina Mondragon, KTC TV3.